Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises, thanks, and honor to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Muruka Kadash, meaning all praises to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who we ignorantly call Jesus. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, who have taught me everything that I know today. And peace and salutations to your Akiams and Aquats, the helpful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. I'm doing this video because I saw a video on YouTube. That's a video on the protest of um, George Floyd in Nigeria. And it shook me. It shook me to the core that um, shook me to the core that um, you know, the rate at which you know, the, these people are beginning to know who he saw Edom, the so-called white man. He's been revealed. They know who he is now. They know his intentions are nothing but evil. So I was pushed to do a video on this and I'm going to start by reading from the second book of Thessalonians okay chapter 2 verse 3 which quotes let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first which has already happened and which is still happening okay and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition so you see just like the scriptures are saying we have to know what time it is now you know we're close very very close to the return of the son of the most high Hawashai, who you're ignorantly called jesus and you see the son of perdition is being revealed in different parts of the world even the the most remote areas of the world, they're all beginning to see and understand that the white man, the so-called white man, the Caucasian race, are the sons of Esau, and they mean no good to humanity. Okay, with this said, some Israelites are going to look like the Caucasians. Okay, so that is a fact, and that's a different topic to go on, you know being spread around the four corners of the earth you know mixed with different nations and we have people of different shades so the israelites and the elects most of them are also going to look like the so-called edomites the white man the so-called white man edom so now we're going to go to the root word of perdition and let's look it up in strongs okay the word comes from Apollia. Apollia. So if we go to the definition, it says, from a presumed derivative of G622, which we're going to go into. Okay, ruin or lost. Damnable nation. Okay, you see, damnable nation. It's a nation. Now let's go to the root, G622. You see, it comes from the word Apollomi. Apollo me. So if we go to the definition, it says the base, um, okay, from G575 and the base of G3639, okay, to destroy fully. You see, all they do is destroy, destroy, kill, plunder, rape, and this is what the sons of Esau they do, you know, so. By their fruits, you're going to know them, just like the scriptures quote. And they're being revealed. So, I'm going to let this video play. And I pray the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gives you a, a full understanding and see what I've seen actually, how Esau is being exposed even to the most remote, <laughs> to the end, ends of the world, you know where you wouldn't even expect people. And the funny thing is, these people just, you know, speak what they think. And most of them are not even in the truth. 
Most of them don't even know the truth, but they know that the white man, the so-called white man, Edom, means no good to humanity. I'm going to let this video play. It's quite long. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you later. Shut up. No black person. In any case, I want to correct a notion. There is no body that is black and there is no one that is white. We have pink people and rednecks. That's what they are called in America. And then we are brown, beautiful and bold people. No, but that is the color black and this is the color white. Nobody is white. Let us collect, co correct that notion today. I'm very, very annoyed as a result of the indiscriminate killing of black people in the United States of America by agents of the state. It is instead a display of emotional and mental rage because we would no longer watch how our brothers and sisters are subjected to all manners of ill treatment by law enforcement officers in the United States of America. The death is not funny. It is not funny. The death of George Floyd is an act of barbarism that is being spearheaded by the white supremacists. Again, I keep saying there's nothing like white. It's either pink or redneck in the United States of America because black lives, brown colored people, their lives, our lives matter. But we say black lives indeed must matter. The Center for African Liberation and Socioeconomic Rights have in numerous forums stated that it is indeed time for the blacks. I want to continue to use the blacks because that's what we're used to. And Africans to take their destinies into their hands. If we must survive the fangs of the whites, whose desire is to see to the extinction of the entire black race in the world. Of course, you can tell from the recent COVID-19 where they have gathered together to say the agenda is for the depopulation of, of Africa. And of course, it will never happen. This is over 50 years down the line when the late Martin Luther King Jr. spoke about the emancipation of blacks in the United States of America. I want to say something here. I want to also call out our black brothers and, and sisters in America, Oprah Winfrey, Steve Harvey, uh, Tyler Perry, uh, Dion Dan Warwick and the rest. Martin Luther King paid the minimum, a maximum price for them to be what they think they are today. As a black person, you can never really amount to anything. So if they are going to keep silent over this matter, if they are not going to come out as we are coming out in Africa, tomorrow South Africa is marching, day after tomorrow Ghana is marching. One black life is more, is an equal to, is equal to 10 rednecks. If they are not going to come out because they are so afraid, they cannot say what they, that needs to be said, we are going to speak for them. Now, we are not unmindful that some of us have come here out of great trials and tribulations. Some of us have come f fresh from narrow jail cells. And some of you and some of us have come from where our quest for freedom left us battered by the storms of persecution and staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have been the veterans of creative suffering. These words of Martin Luther King reverberate till date in the United States of America and other Western state climes. And the question is, should we suffer untold hardship and persecution just because of the color of our skin? I am asking. No! Should we continue to suffer this brutality? and barbarism I am asking no right should our children brothers sisters fathers and mothers continue to be killed because we are colored blacks no because we are brown and beautiful we are gathered here to register our displeasure with the happenings in the United States of America where black lives do not matter for us at the Center for African Liberation and Socioeconomic Rights, black lives indeed do matter and indeed we do matter. And this is the message we want the Ambassador of the United States of America in Nigeria to convey to President Donald Trump. Our message is simple. Black lives matter and racial discrimination must stop in the interest of peace, unity and progress. If this does not stop, Africans, we must take our destinies into our hands and fight for our rights. Because according to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we are all born free. We are all born equal. Nobody is more equal than the other. We all have our thoughts and our ideas and we should be all treated the same way. The rights in the UDHR belong to everyone, no matter who we are, where we are from, or whatever we believe. We all have the right to life and to live in freedom and safety. No one, and I again repeat, no one should be held as a slave, and no one has the right to treat anyone else as their slave or snuff life out of them. It is indeed unacceptable. I say it is indeed unacceptable. unacceptable. No one has the right to inflict torture or to subject anyone else to cruel 
or inhuman treatment. Nobody, and I again repeat, no one has the right to enter our home, open our doors, or mail, or intrude on our families without good reason. We also have the right to be protected if someone tries to damage our reputation unfairly. And that is the case going on now, particularly in the United States of America. Everyone has the freedom to think or believe what they want, including the right to religious belief. We have the right to change our beliefs or religion at any time, at any given time we deem fit, and the right to publicly or privately practice our chosen religion alone and or with others. And no government, no people, no group or individual should act in a way that should destroy the rights and freedom of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. By the way, America claims to be the citadel of human rights protection. So you begin to wonder why all this has been happening and going unchecked. These are provisions of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and we at the African Liberation and Socioeconomic Rights stand in agreement with all these provisions in sending a very strong message to the whites. They are not supreme to us brown people. They are not. In the United States of America, that they are not superior to us. I said they are not superior to us. No life is superior to any other life. Though the color of our skin may differ, we are all free born. Nobody is a slave of one another. And we are a great people, although they came to Africa many years ago to take us because they cannot develop their own country. So they needed us to de help them develop their own country. And today you turn around and you begin to kill the same people. For what? And I'm asking for what? Enough is enough. We are calling on all Africans to stand up for their rights. It is enough of the humiliation, the deprivation and the persecution, the annihilation agenda and the delineations. Africans are not slaves and will resist any form of slave treatment from those in positions of authority, particularly in the United States of America and elsewhere in the world. The Center for African Liberation and Socioeconomic Rights is sounding this warning to the United States of America. The United States of America, please listen and listen through your officials and particularly the ambassador here to protect black lives in the country as the awareness is here to stay that never shall we ever allow our rights and privileges to be trampled upon any longer. It is enough. The future is here. The future is black, whether you agree with it or not, whether you accept it or not, because we have all the mineral resources and you come and rip us and rip us of it and use it to develop your land. So uh, the future of your own nation is us and you cannot continue to kill us. And sisters in the United States of America, we stand in solidarity with them. America and other countries of the world with our strong fists in the air say enough is indeed enough. enough and black lives matter. It is our wish that the ambassador of the United States of America in Nigeria sends this very strong message to the president, to present administration in the United States, that the rest of Africa is indeed watching. I keep saying it, we are indeed watching, and we are watching all these predators, and sooner than expected, you will stop being the predator, and that is a fact. We are wiser and we are more educated. We came to your land and we took your education. We took your technical know-how. And so we are much wiser. We are not the primitive people you all think we are. We are no longer that. We are no longer ancient people. We are very civilized. And in any case, civilization started from Africa. So you cannot tell, tell us that you, are, you, you brought us civilization or knowledge. Africa is watching. And again, like I said, we are indeed watching closely. We are all watching you closely. How the present administration in the United States will do to make black lives matter and seek justice for late Floyd George. Africa is indeed waiting to see that justice is served to the killers of George. Floyd and as nothing short of that would be acceptable or tolerated by us that we are blacks I mean we're not black nobody is black or white only a ghost is white we are brown bold and beautiful people do not mean that our rights and privileges should be trampled upon enough of that nonsense that happened centuries ago I mean centuries ago and you should know better that we are wise that we come to your country and we outwit you we outbrain you we outstudy you and you retain us to build your system. And we are saying, no, you cannot keep us down to build your system. And then you continue to kill them. It is no longer acceptable. It is, it is no longer acceptable. 
We shall never allow a repeat now or in the future. Africans must unite, particularly in this cause. Tomorrow in South Africa, this same thing is happening. The after is Ghana, the whole of African nation. It doesn't matter if you're from Jamaica, St. Kitts, St. Lucia, St. Thomas, wherever you come from. As long as you are black, in quote, as they say, you are an African. And this is the time for each and every one of us to rise up and say no to this barbarism. I said we should say no to this barbarism. We continue to say no, and we shall continue to say no until you get the message and get it really clear. Now, Africa must unite in the critical point of our existence. We, 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 we. We don't want to go to America. You just come. Let's meet at the border. Please, let's meet at the border. Okay, thank you. We don't want to go to America. We don't need visa. Yeah, now coming back. If you notice, if you can notice well the speech this woman gave, it's actually an inspired speech. It seemed like the spirit was, you know, getting out some stuffs. And you can simply tell that's happening actually in Nigeria. And you can you can easily tell that most of the people around they know what's going on. They know who he saw is. So with this said, I'm going to close this lesson. I don't want to make it too long. Um, I'm going to say, Shalawam, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Kala Lahayim La, Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Ulka Kadash. Till the next time.